Okay, who designed this sign? Why isn't it in the center? This is bugging me! I feel like it was put in for four kids only. I'm pretty sure it was just a rock wall. Calling characters with an unknown last name, the name of the thing they're from, like Sans Undertale, is very funny, but I think it's funnier when people do it with a character whose last name is very much known. For example, <clears throat> Jesus Bible. Please! Naughty potatoes get placed in the nuclear merry-go-round for war crimes. Let, let him out, please. The best analogy for bisexuals I've ever heard. Werewolf. I am a werewolf. Person. Okay, so when you're in human form, you're human, and then you're in wolf form, you're a wolf, though. No, no, no. I'm a werewolf. Human form, werewolf. Wolf form, werewolf. Always a werewolf. No matter the circumstance or appearance, I am always a werewolf. Fact. Bisexuals are also werewolves. One time I dreamt there was a limited amount of gender available in the world. You can only obtain some by either having given it or killing the person who already had it. Assassins were notorious for their large amount of genders and would double as traitors. Oh, that explains why conservatives say there are only two. They're hiding the rest! Do you know what pisses me off? A lot of things, where do I start? Be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too. I can't think of much that I aspire to be more than this. Mowing through an entire box of Pocky feeling like a pencil sharpener being fed whole pencils by a third grader. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Slut or not, you're all slut shaming a guy that's dead. Show some respect. This was a post about Julius Caesar. DM says, so, you realize it's a giant rattlesnake, bigger than our fighter. Me, a Medusa with snakes for hair. I roll to befriend it! Oh, oh no, uh, okay, okay, what's your charisma? Plus five, let's go! Rolls a nat 20. Well, everyone add 12 points to your XP, crisis averted, you now have a giant snake for a friend. That is the best outcome. Hey. Why well, is everything blue? Could you perhaps elaborate? No, everything's blue. I see no need for elaboration. Yo, listen up. Writing prompt. Fae gained power over someone by having their name. The most powerful of Fae wouldn't be kings or queens, but coffee shop baristas. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold. Did I... Did I miss a glorious opportunity with Baris? <laughs> Game Freak. Game Freak. Look at me. Are you telling me that every Pokemon canonically has a scientific name and you refused to tell us what it is for every single Pokemon except goddamn Oddish? And how the hell does it walk around nearly a thousand feet at night with two roots? As many steps. Yo vibes, my lord. Hmm, check them for me, court jester. Oh no! My ribcage split open, revealing a grotesque vertical maw slavering and bleeding with uneven rows of jagged and splintered ribs for teeth. And promise tomorrow! Rules of fashion. One, do you think it's pretty? Two, wear it. Okay, but I don't know how I'm gonna wear you. Oh, you smooth fucker. You obviously haven't read Silence of the Lambs. No, I don't have a dream job. I want to spend my days reading and writing and lazing in the afternoon sun. I want to bake bread and brownies and apple crumble. I want to grow my own vegetables and plant a rainbow of flowers. I want to be with nature. I want to be at peace. That sounds nice. So, this happened to me today. Fucked up, some bird tried to steal your car like that. Look at it. You fucking tape!